McKinsey clients shrugged at scandals, ignored greed. Bloomberg. Bloomberg.com. Businessweekay.com. Bloomberg TV. Premium. Professional products. Bloomberg Anywhere. Bloomberg Trade Book. Industry products. Bloomberg Briefs. Bloomberg Government. Bloomberg Law. Bloomberg BNA. Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Bloomberg Sports. Enterprise Products Compliance Solutions. Data Solutions. Technology Solutions. Trading Solutions. This site uses cookies. By continuing to browse the site you are agreeing to our use of cookies. X. Markup Snapshot US. Europe. Asia. Ticker Volume Price Price Delta DJI 8 15376.10 plus 75.420.49% SM Page 501687.99 plus 4.570.27% NASDAQ 3722.18 plus 6.220.17% Ticker Volume Price Price Delta S0XX 52867.11 plus 5.0 for 0.18% FTSE 106583.80 negative 5.18 negative 0.08% DAX 8509.42 plus 15.42 0.18% Ticker Volume Price Price Delta Nikkei 14404.70 plus 17.40.12% Hang Seng 22915.30 Negative 38.44 Negative 0.17% SM Page Slash AX 205219.63 Negative 22.91 Negative 0.44% Bloomberg Our Company Professional Anywhere News, Opinion, Markup Data, Personal Finance, Tech, Politics, Sustainability, Luxury, TV, Video, Radio, Syria Chemical Arms to be Destroyed in U.S. Russia Deal, 305, Obama Says Strike Threat Aided Syria Diplomacy, With Jackie O. Trusts, Waltons Maintain Fortune, Inside VW, A Lamborghini Bentley SUV Rivalry, Treatment, the West just doesn't get Putin. 0 minutes and 47 seconds. Twitter by the numbers, 500 million tweets a day. McKinsey clients shrugged at scandals, ignored greed. By Susan M. Tillett, 2013 09 10 T 0 for colon 0 0 colon 0 1 Z. McKinsey and Company, the global fix-it firm for companies and governments, labored in Tanzania in the late 1960s and charged fees so high that they merited a line item in the country's budget. According to the firm, the story of McKinsey and its secret influence on American business. Hardcore capitalists might consider McKinsey's big bills and say hooray for the free market. Demand a price for market will bear and all that. Astonishingly, author Doug McDonald considers this and other dazzling examples of McKinsey's greed and concludes that in large part the firm's people aren't motivated by money. They aren't. McDonald, a contributing editor at Fortune and the New York Observer, has put together an instructive history of McKinsey, but on key points he leaves us scratching our heads. He says it's an open question whether McKinsey has transformed the way businesses are managed, but a page later allows that McKinsey has certainly made the world a more efficient rational and objective place. Nearly 200 pages into the book he wonders about McKinsey's boast of having smart guys who can't fix any client problem even as the firm suffers high visibility failures, such as its ill-fated advice on the restructuring of General Motors Co. Graham in the 1980s. Is it a con? He asks. The maddening answer, maybe? Insider trading? Sometimes, McDonald imparts details of customers' apparent satisfaction. When McKinsey director Anil Kumar was arrested for insider trading in October 2009, it was the start of a publicity nightmare that culminated in the sentencing of former leader Rajat Gupta for insider trading in 2012. Curiously, that didn't affect business, McDonald writes. The takeaway, as they say in consulting land, is that customers shrugged at the scandal because they got something valuable from McKinsey. But what? The author includes examples of the pluses but doesn't commit himself on whether clients gain or lose on balance. Despite these failings, we do learn about the culture and characters that make McKinsey what it is. The firm was found.